Meghan Markle has been warned against using unconventional methods to fight back against vicious rumors against her, with the royal family's early attempts to patrol the internet as just tip of the iceberg. Kensington Palace has been trying to stamp its authority after a series of leaks concerning Meghan and Prince Harry, a royal expert claimed earlier this week. Robert Jobson said it was a mistake for the palace to get involved in a story which claimed the royal couple planned to raise their first child as gender fluid, they were dismissed as totally false. Meghan Markle and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, have been hit by persistent speculation that the pair embroiled in a bitter internal rift for a number of months amid claims they don't get along. Last month, Heavily pregnant Megan jetted off to New York to meet friends who held an extravagant baby shower just weeks after five anonymous pals, including an alleged former co-star, told People magazine about their concern for the Duchess. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, a rumor which began in Vanity Fair and which was officially denied as totally false. The idea that their child would be raised as gender fluid continued to circulate which was grossly irresponsible. Some of the reports detailing difficulties between the duchesses and involving the tiara she wore for her wedding and rumors of problems with her staff may be partly or wholly true. No family, royal or not, could possibly have a whole year which included two weddings, the birth of Prince Louis, Charles turning 70 years old and Chom, Commonwealth heads of government meeting without ups and downs. Meghan's attempts to fight back against the rumors have been unconventional, without consulting her press team, she appears to have briefed several anonymous friends whose comments appeared in People magazine. This led to her unpredictable father sharing sensitive extracts from a personal letter to him from her to a tabloid. On Friday, new research revealed up to 70 percent of the hideous online trolling directed at Meghan came from just 20 so-called troll accounts. The research follows new social media guidelines by Buckingham Palace, Clarence House and Kensington Palace which warn abusive accounts could be blocked or report to the police. The guidelines state comments must not contain spam, be defamatory of any person, deceive others, be obscene, offensive, threatening, abusive, hateful, inflammatory or promote sexually explicit material or violence or promote discrimination based on race, sex religion, nationality, disability, sexual orientation or age. Mr. Fitzwilliams praised the palaces in their attempts to control these hurtful comments, but warned the biggest challenges are yet to be overcome. He said, the vicious racist and sexist nature of much of the offensive material online as highlighted by CNN is undoubtedly cause for considerable concern. Clearly, Harry and Meghan are concerned about the hideous online trolling, certain articles and, obviously, the antics of her family. The palaces are clamping down on unacceptable comment online but their websites are the tip of the iceberg, policing the wider web is a huge challenge. The feud with Meghan's father Thomas Markle ignited in the days leading up to her wedding to Prince Harry last year, when he was caught staging paparazzi pictures before pulling out of walking his daughter down the aisle at Windsor Castle. Meghan revealed she was heartbroken by her father's actions, which also saw her relatives give interviews about how she had blacklisted them from the wedding. A letter sent by the Duchess of Sussex to her father in August and partially leaked to the press by Thomas Markle himself says he had not made any attempt to get in touch with her after the wedding. During a recent explosive documentary about the Markle family feud, half-sister Samantha Markle launched a vicious attack against half-sister Meghan accusing her of being heartless for her treatment of their father Thomas Markle. Mr. Fitzwilliams believes the family feud will not be solved in the foreseeable future, labeling Samantha poisonous and an obvious enemy. He raged, it isn't likely that Meghan's hostile family will have much more to say and it seems absolutely certain that they, including Thomas, will have no say whatever in the upbringing of Meghan and Harry's child. It's pretty certain the feud won't be solved at least not foreseeably. Thomas's interviews have caused Meghan a lot of grief. Samantha, her half-sister, is poisonous, and obviously an enemy. But despite the hostilities within her family and the numerous stories that have been apparently leaked to the press, Mr. Fitzwilliams maintains the past 12 months have been a huge success for Meghan. He said, Meghan, a fashion icon and a confident and articulate speaker, 
was superb at communicating. She and Harry make a dynamic team, their reach is global and this will benefit a great many. They are clearly inspired by the charitable work of Diana, 